uploader. Now, I, oh, I got some brilliant news. Billy, let me borrow a pen. You might be able to read what I'm writing now. Isn't that a treat? Um, I hope you're doing well today. I hope you've had a nice day. And it's Friday. Woohoo, Miss Baldwin's favorite day. I do love a good Friday. Oh, we've got a cat here. She's come and sat on all of the phonics cards. Come and sat in my mess. Just making herself at home, as you do. Well, so I hope you've had a really good day. It's Friday, so I'm in a really good mood, even though it's not Friday for me yet. <laughs> and let's see what we're gonna do today. Um, we did the hard and soft yesterday. So I thought we'd carry on with that and we'd do the hard g and soft j sound in words and deciding when to, when to pronounce it each way. And then we're going to have a look at the alternative spellings of writing the sound air. And you're quite, you're quite lucky. There's, there's five, but four really, because one of them's only got one word. So I don't think I'd really count that. I'd just stick it in with the tricky words. I think it is a tricky word, actually. And yeah, that's it. Reading some words, writing some words, reading a sentence, writing a sentence. You know the drill, the usual. So let us start with our hard g and soft j. And we write it. Like, oh, I hope you can see this. It's green. I have ordered some more pens. So hopefully, can you see that? So we've got a hard g and soft j. And the j, it's like that j, isn't it? J. So let's have a look at some words that use these different pronunciations, but they use the letter G. So first, we I'll do the soft J first, because that's got a rule to it. If the G is before these letters in a word, if it's before an E, an I, or a E, then, we use the soft j sound rather than the hard g. Let me show you. I will write the word gentle. Gentle. As after the g, it's an e, we use the soft j for j, j, gentle. You see? It doesn't only have to be at the beginning of the word. It can be in the middle of the word as well. So what do you think this word might say? It's got an I following it, hasn't it? So we use the soft J sound. So it would be engine. Engine. Yeah? And we've got another one. Ooh, these are tasty fruit. Very juicy. It's got an F following, hasn't it? Orange. Orange. Yeah. And last one we'll do is... Danger. Danger. Good job. Let me just give you some of the hard g words now. It's pretty easy because, oh my gosh, I think my camera's moved. Is it falling? Um, oh, I'm just going to have to be a bit wonky. Um, yeah, so if any other letter except for e, i, or i, goes after the g, then it's just a g sound, the hard g. So let's 
so I'll give you some examples. See if I can fit them on. Oh, it's nice writing with a pen that works. Oh, it's like a dream. So here we've got, so there's an A following this one. Game. Glass. Glue. Dragon. I it out. Dragon. So because we have an A, a O, another O, and an O following, we use the G sound. Okay? You following? Why don't you write it? Right, on your board, put the two headings there, the hard G and soft J. And then underneath the soft J, why don't you write an E? an I and a U and you could put like a little circle around them so you can remember yeah and then I'm going to give you some words and I'd like you to either write them under the hard G or write them under the soft G okay so first word we'll go easy for the first one can you write the word Glass. Glass. Is that the hard G or the soft G? Glass. It's easy when I'm saying it because you can hear it, can't you? Glass. Of course, that is the hard G. What about the word danger? Danger. Danger, write it in the correct column. Danger, you can hear the j, the soft j sound. And look, it's an f that follows. So that follows our rule, doesn't it? Okay, we'll do two more. Next word is glue. Can you remember which oo it was? Glue, glue. That was the hard G, wasn't it? Glue. Well done. And the last one is gentle. Gentle. Oh, that's got an E following as well. So that follows our rule, doesn't it? Gentle. Soft G. Well done. Very good job. We'll do a little bit more on those um, in the next couple of weeks. I'll recap them again. Okay, right. We are now going to have a look at the alternative spellings of the sound air. Air. Like I said, there are five, but one of them, I wouldn't count it. I'm not sure. I don't know if you got this far with Miss Robinson. Um, but yeah, it is one of the options, but I wouldn't worry too much if you yet about it. Okay, 10 seconds. Can you write down as many different ways of writing the sound air as you can? Air. Ready? Stutter. Go. 10. 9. 8. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Stop and sound. Here we go. I've got a i r a e a r. And then this one, e, I, r, e. I will give you 10 points, 10 Miss Baldwin points, if any of you can tell me what is the one word that uses this air uh, that we know. Do you know it? If 
you know it, scream it at me so I can hear. Do you know it? I'll tell you at the end, how about that? Right, let's rub you out, I don't want you. <laughs> I'll tell you, I'll tell you once we've gone through all of these. Okay, let's have a look at the first spelling, the a, i, r, spelling of air. Okay, we're going to read them and then write them straight after today. Okay, so you'll need you'll need your boards. Right, we'll go through really quick because we're very familiar with this. Funfair, dairy. Staircase. Well done. Okay, I'm going to give you those words to write down, see if you can remember how to spell them. Can you write the word staircase? Look like I'm. Um, While you're writing that, I'll just try to sort my camera out. Staircase. 